Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your support in this channel. I don't take it for granted. Please consider to like this video. Now, Kenyans, there's something which we are forgetting. I say I'm just displaying that photo. I've seen it trending in social media. Some of political analysts have done it. And even it has been exposed in the news today. Those who have watched the news. But there's something which you are forgetting with. That the photo I'm just displaying due to Rigadi Gashagwa's absence, it tells a lot. And it's really, really explaining a lot. For someone who have a little brain in this country, we are forgetting with William Ruto's fulfillment agenda or promises which he had. Do we recall what happened in 2018? Uru Kenyatta and William Ruto. It started this way. How things are now happening in the UDA government. And if you are not keen, there is a political con game being done in UDA. Kenyans, you've forgotten with the Ruto's agenda. You've forgotten with even the Mamambogas and all promises which William Ruto had with you. You are now concentrating on Rigadi's absence or Rigadi's tussle with the current sitting president. Believe me that this is just William Ruto and Rigadi Gashagwa's deal. They are after someone. And if not, I am confirming here that it might be Msalem Davadi to be played with how Ouru played Raila Odinga in 2022. And I want us to dig deep into this, our platform today. But before I carry on, ladies and gentlemen, if you are watching me for the first time, and you've never subscribed to this YouTube channel, take a one second and click that notification bell and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like our video, watch, share, and give us your opinion. As you border the same boat with the members, share this video to your friends, family, and relatives. Allow me to proceed with this topic of discussion. I know some of you are setting eyes that 2027 William Ruto must go home. And that's the mentality we are having. We've seen several political news happening, sad news. The Gen Z's have stormed the street. No one is even discussing, talking about the abduction, which is currently happening with our police officers. We've seen even the issue of rape cases, which I analyzed some hours ago by Mombasa governor's office. No one is even talking about this, asking the ESCC and even the DCI to caution those who are found in doing such kind of mannerless behavior. Right now, our economy is sinking and we are not even observing this. We are only busy having that interest that we take, uh, we take our, our identical cards. We vote William Ruto out, which is good. We have, we must have that dream. And dream is very much essential in human life. But I have decided to display that video, that, that picture, I mean, sorry. If you look at that picture, Rigadi seems to combine this force with William Ruto. And I am very much confident detecting some political con game from that picture I'm displaying. Rigadi was on other part, just a distance in central Kenya where Ruto visited. He was in Dandora, I don't know, Dandora or this, the other part of Dandora, whichever. He was in the church 
After that, he was airlifted to central Kenya. Do you want to tell me that Rigathi wasn't aware that Ruto is going, is going to visit him? He was aware. He have those who are communicating from his office. Even President himself is aware. What these people are trying to do here, they are trying to confuse Kenyans. And you are going to realize this late. Right now, Ruto is remaining with only two, two years. We get to another election. What have he done tangible, essential? We can try to pro produce and say this and that have been done by President Ruto, apart from launching Ouro Mega Kenyatta's project. What any other things else? We've seen even Kebaso Morara being uh, exposing him, but I heard Kebaso Morara is having another case being funded with the Uru Kenyatta. Things are happening in this our country, which if exposed in a broad, a broad daylight, you will just ask God to take your life. It's not just a matter of laughing. I'm seeing people are very much impressed, saying that, oh, Rigadi and Ruto are not working together. These people are working together and they are talking to each other. They have started their own political conmanship. It is also called political sympathy. So it is upon Kenyans to check which side are they prefer to vote in. Because you can't convince me that Ruto is not aware of Rigadi Gashagwa political movement. You can't convince me that Rigadi is not aware of William Ruto's political movement. How can you convince me? We've been in this political podium, and you, you guys also, some of you have been in this political podium. You know what normally happens. If the government have failed to fulfill the promises which they made, then the best option is to come up with another political game plan. And that is what seems to happen from the deputy president office and the president office. The absence of Rigadi Gashagwa, the way I've listened to Mutai Kaiga early today in the evening, he was a man just having had, had, in, had interest to expose his, his mansion at home. And again, how the church began or whichever it was, that is what he was saying. And uh, having that political um, exposure, why Rigadi and Ruto didn't make it. But you have to conclude that these people were all in central. Therefore, we must check on this point and ask ourselves, there is something happening between William Ruto and Rigadi Gashagwa. Due to their failure on promises, the Mamamboga have been forgotten with, youth in this country have been forgotten with, the economy is not making sense. Yesterday we saw Ruto in German promising us 250,000 jobs vacancies. Going to German is not just waking up very early in the morning, going to urinate or urinating, in, in the toilet or in your toilet. It is a plan and a serious plan. The same way going to US, the same way going to Canada, the same way going to Australia. But it is easier, those who are in Kenya, those who are in Canada, to visit Kenya. I hope you understand. So the picture is just the beginning of political conmanship happening in our country. And they are all aware of this. They want to confuse you and saying Rigadi and William Ruto are not in good term. For you not to ask them, why have they not fulfilled their promises? What were, what, what were they doing or what are they doing in this country? Therefore, some of you will rush on the other side of Rigadi Gashagwa. The other men will rush on the other side of William Ruto and said, 
we support you mr president kimani chungwa have also talked about this uh or william ruto and gadiga shago these politicians are very sharp they know whatever they are doing kenyans you must wake up from your slumber it's not all about being thrilled with any politician quarreling at each other who knew that uru raila were going to work nani alijua who knew that uru could have allowed william ruto to be in the position he is right now yet he had even quarrel each at each other saying that njamzuri ni mzee who knew that raila dinga could have worked with william ruto all those ru things ruto have said who knew that gadi gashagwa could have accepted uh, uh, could have accepted raila dinga william ruto's brotherhood which which is good a country must run peacefully and we must have that confidential but this game this game i'm seeing is not going to last longer let us not be happy but have that mentality to open our eyes and see whatever is happening ladies and gentlemen that is what i had to share with you i rest my case at this point thank you and let's meet on another political discussion my name is charles i wish you all the best